नमस्कार हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैथवर्स मैथवर्स मीन्स मैथमेटिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स टूगेदर मैथवर्स ना दिस द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ क्लास इलेवन लेवल मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ क्लास इलेवन स्पेशली फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी विद इन सिक्स मंथस सो The topic which I am going to start today is set theory, and it will be completely based on NCERT. And after the entire lecture series is over, then I shall start solving problems from JE Main, JE Advanced, and several other engineering entrance examinations. So this course will not only be helpful for board examinations, but this will also be helpful for those who are studying for several engineering entrances. Now, to start the set theory, first of all, let me give you some intuitive idea about what is set. Now, from the very beginning of our childhood, we have come across several collection of things. Like a cricket kit, cricket kit means a bag or a collection of something which included bat, pad, gloves, ball, and so many other things. So together they constitute a set of cricket-related things. Then we are saying set, or means uh, we can talk about the set of jewelries. Like a jewelry set contains uh, uh, that necklace type of thing, one jhumka. and maybe some other things can be there also so one set means collection of some similar type of things which gives us the proper definition though actual definition of set cannot be given but still we can say and we can take a definition and which is accepted also but it is a little bit wrong or the definition is not adequate Correctly saying, the proper definition of set cannot be given. Okay, but still, for this purpose, for so sorry, for this situation, and at this level, we can take it as hundred percent correct. The definition of set says, well defined collection of. distinct objects so let me explain each of the words with utmost importance first of all what is well defined well defined means they are defined according to some rule and they are defined in a very proper way Like when it is a cricket kit, cricket kit means there, then there should only be the things which are related to cricket. There should not be any uh, gloves. There should there, there there be the gloves of a batsman or a wicket keeper, but there should not be any gloves of a of a football goalkeeper. So if a cricket kit, a cricket kit contains football, then this collection is not well defined. Obviously, this is not well defined, and we cannot say that as a cricket kit. Therefore, there is not well defined. Next is collection. I have told our collection. Collection is uh, like uh, we have aggregated some things and we have taken uh, kept there. Then there is distinct object. Obviously, distinct object means two things can be separated, or sorry, two things can be distinguished. Like there are differences between two things. Okay. So let me take one example and explain all these words one by one. Now I define about the numbers between. Uh, let me write it as a way. Set of numbers between five to ten. I should say right here natural numbers. Set of natural numbers between five to ten. Now see. First of all, before saying set, 
we can say the collection of natural numbers between 5 to 10. Uh, what is natural numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 all these. All integers except the negative ones and 0 is natural numbers. So set of natural numbers between 5 to 10 and that set can be written. We always write set inside this second bracket which is known as bracteal. Actually this is bracket, this is bracteal and this is first parenthesis. Okay. So we, uh, inside this bracket we should write 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So we have natural numbers between 5 to 10. Now see one thing here. This collection, this is a collection of numbers, first of all, and this is well defined. It is defined saying that set of all natural numbers, it is defined, well defined, and these objects are distinct. Each number has occurred only once. Now, if someone wants to write a set in this way, that 5, 7, 9, hashtag, exclamatory sign, A, in this way. Is it a set? Obviously it is a set. But if someone writes in this way, see here what happens? This exclamatory sign occurs two times. But as we have said, the elements, the, all those, the, all these uh, members of set are called the element. All these elements should come only once. That is, they should be distinct. Therefore, we should exclude this one, and the remaining collection will be our set. Okay. Now, writing the elements in this way is known as roster method. We have to write set in somehow, in some ways. There are two ways, which I uh, showed here is roster method. In roster method, what we do, as I did there, the natural numbers, natural numbers between 5 and 10. Natural numbers between 5 and 10 in roster method, we shall write in this way. 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. And when it is set builders method, actually set builders method is more accurate and more scientific, we should write it in this way. Look at this. X. This set in set builders method, the set contains elements which we are telling as X. And X such that X this less than 5, sorry. X is greater than 5 and less than 10. Also, X belongs to, this sign is called belongs to natural number. This sign is such that, and it is belongs to. So, this is said will just say. Now, why I say that said will just whether is more accurate? Now, just think about this situation. I am making this 10 into maybe 1 lakh. I have made it 1 lakh. Then if I keep on writing, it will not only exhaust the entire boat, but it will take the wall also. So in this case, I have to include some zeros only. 1, 2, 3. Only 4, zero. 1, 2, 3, 4. I have included only some zeros and the work is done. So this is, this one was Roster method, this one is set builders method. While writing about the abstract sets, we denote the set or we uh, name the sets by capital English letters like A, B, C in this way. And the elements of the sets are written as small a, small b, small c. This is actually convention. We can write it any way possible, any way we want. If suppose we say that the element of a set is banyan tree, then there will be a banyan tree, something banyan tree, and one cappuccino, then there will be one cappuccino, and there will be, <laughs> let me assume, one shalukhan, then there will be one shalukhan. 
So this is the collection of the set, but I don't know how to well define that or how to. Uh, obviously, they are distinct. Many entry and capuchin is distinct. Is <laughs> a case obviously, but in it, I. We can define it in somehow, like uh, SRK was drinking cappuccino under the entry. Oh, I am a genius. Okay, joke apart. Now, let's come to the next point, which is subset and superset. Let me assume there is one set A. Okay? A has these elements 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Okay? Now, this is the collection of the numbers and their common difference is 5, like 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20, in this way. Now, let's see here. Let me write one other set B and B I write as 10, 20, 30. It can be seen clearly that the num elements of B are just a multiple of 10. And this 10 multiple elements occur here also. So all the elements of B occurs in A. Therefore, it doesn't it seem like if A is this much of portion, then B is a smaller portion of A. Those who have studied sexually before and have learned Venn diagram, they can understand what I am doing. Though it is not actually correct, but still. So in this case, we write if this thing happens that B has the elements which are elements of A also and A has some more elements than B then we write in this way B is a subset of A it is written in this way B is a subset of A and A is a superset of Okay, it's done. But for some instance, let's think it for once. If it was like this, if it was only 10 and 20 here, till then, till then it is a subset of A. But if it contained 120, one term, then we can say B is not a subset of A. Because B has some other element than A. Okay? So here B and A are different sets and they doesn't have any relation. Like B doesn't belong to A or A doesn't belong to B like that. Okay. Now we come to the set operations. Let me first write two sets. One is A and A is uh first should I write? Let it be let me write in a set B just like that x such that x belongs to set of all natural numbers and 5 less than x less than 30. Let me make it less than or equal to. So actually a can be written as 5 comma 6 comma dot 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 30. Okay? And these are the set, these are the set which we can write in this way x such that x belongs to set of all natural numbers and mm, x lies between 5 and 30 also is what x is a multiple of 3 so the elements of x will be 6, 9, 12, up to 30. Okay? So it can be seen clearly that B is the subset of A because B has those elements which belong to A because A is the collection of all natural numbers between 5 to 10. Now, here comes complement. First thing, complement of B. Complement of B will contain those elements that are there in A but not in B. Okay? Like if I take in this way A is 
the this entire portion is a and b is a little portion from that entire portion then b complement will be this one excluding b the remaining portion will be b complement so b complement here in this case will be in this case excluding 6 9 12 13 this way therefore it will be 5 7 8 10 just the year 6 has been excluded 9 has been excluded since they are in b and in this way up to 29 okay if we want to write it in a same business form then how we shall write it will be very simple try to do before me pausing the video here it will be x such that x belongs to natural number is the first criteria second is 5 is less than x less than 30 and x is not a multiple of 3 so the difference between b complement and b here we can see here it is only and only the difference of this mod it is not the multiple and it is the multiple so here it was the b complement now let me take some set some different type of set uh, let uh, one set be a a is equal to 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Okay. Let B be another set. Let it be 1, 3, 5, C, and D. Okay. These are two sets. Now I am defining the set operations. First of them is union. So, what is union? Union is some kind of addition of two sets. It can be called as the addition. Like if A is one set, we are taking this sign is known as union. See, U and U, it looks like U, therefore union. A union B. What does this set will contain? First of all, I am writing it in roster method, and next I shall write them in set builders form. First of all, collect the common parts of both sets, common elements actually. 1-1 one, one is common, 3-3 three, three is common, and C-C C is common. So, here the first element will be 1, 3, C. Okay? What will be next? Write all the elements of A and B without any limitation. Like, it will be 2, A, B, and 5, G. This will be the union. So, what we did here? If we want to write in the same builder's form, like union of A union B, we can write it as X such that X belongs to A or this sign is called or. This sign is known as or. Okay? X belongs to A or X belongs to B. What does this mean? Either A belongs to Sorry, either x belongs to A or x belongs to B, it will be the union. You just have to occur once in any of the sets. Okay. Next, like if you want to have a real life, a real life one example here, we can take that, uh, like it is said that take all the students uh, from several clubs of your school, like there are one literary club, one dance club one music club some candidate may some student may join all the clubs at a time but some may join two clubs at a time so when we are taking all the students together we are taking all of them at a time like all students have been taken some may be the member of several other groups so it is not right. next is after union that is exact opposite of what is union and that is known as intersection and intersection is a very beautiful thing 
if we simply invert union, we get the sign of intersection. And what does intersection contain? As I said before, take the common elements in the beginning from this two set, and those common elements will constitute the entire intersection of two sets. Okay. So here we have got intersection. Like in intersection, the same example if we take from the school, we can say that take those boys who have joined dance club, culture, uh, literary club, and also the you know maybe some cricket club or something like that. We have to take only those guys who has who has joined all of them. Okay. Next, I said about complement before, and here comes the difference. Just be careful at this one. Here comes difference. The symbol of difference is this one. And the say oh one second. Here for intersection, or you shall write intersection, the set builders form will have a little bit difference. I said here a intersection we will contain those x. The x belongs to a or x belongs to b. Here we shall change it into and. This sign is known as and. See, and is written as this. <laughs> and a looks like this. So this is and. Okay? This is a symbol of and. Now, a intersection b means x such that x belongs to a and x belongs to b. x should belong to both of the sides. Okay? Now comes the difference. In case of difference, we shall take those elements which belongs to A but doesn't belong to B. Okay? Like those are in this case C. What, what we have to exclude here? We have to exclude this common portion. This common portion have to be excluded. Like C, 2, A and B. 2, A and B is there only in A but they are not in B. So, it will be, this will this set will contain 2a and b. And if we want to write it in a set builder's form, then we can write a x such that, sorry, sorry, a minus b x such that x belongs to a but x does not belong to b. This sign is does not belong. Like when we have this is belongs to and one one this step line here does not belong. Okay. So this was all the main topic for today which I wanted to teach and now let's have some problems. Like if I ask some ask you that Find the union of these two sets A such that x, x is rational numbers so Rather writing than this, we can write it in a symbolical way and that will be this way x belongs to Q This is the symbol of all rational numbers Okay, I should tell about the sets first, like all the special known sets. Set of all natural number is written in this way. Set of all natural numbers. And after that set of all natural numbers, if we include all negative, negative integers and uh, all zero, then it will be known as integers, set of all integers. Okay. And after set of all integers, there will come set of all rational numbers that is all the fractions and also the integers and it will be contained in set of all real numbers and set of all real numbers is equal to set of all rational numbers union set of all irrational numbers though the set of all irrational numbers is not written in this way but still I am writing it two very special irrational numbers is d e and pi I don't think that you guys have used e yet, but you have used pi. 
by solving problems related to circles like the circumference, area, and all those things. Let me come to this problem. This problem will say that let a belongs to, uh, a is the set of all rational numbers and and two is less than x less than three. Okay. Now I am saying other thing that b x such that x belongs to q complement. Remember q complement is the irrational numbers and or I can say it or or x or x belongs to set of a natural number. Okay. So actually what is B? B is actually union of this set and set of a natural numbers. Okay. So as it is seen here, if I ask what will be the union of these sets and what will be the intersection of this set? To think about union, first of all, we can draw the number axis. Here is 0, let here be 2 and here be 3. Okay? Now, A, the set A contains this part. Like the, A is not taking this 2 and 3. Okay, A is starting just after 2 and A is ending just before 3. So A is not taking 2 and 3. But what is B? B is taking all the irrational part. Oh, one thing more. A is not taking entire part of this thing. No, 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 no. A is not taking that. A is taking only the rational number between these two numbers. Okay, because A is rational number. So A is the set of rational numbers. So A is containing uh, only the rational numbers. Next, what about B? B contains all the irrational numbers, all the irrational number, okay? And also we say that X belongs to set of all natural numbers, or, or A contains a natural number. Therefore, is there any element between common between these two sets? Only natural number between these two, though all of them are rational, rational natural numbers are also, also rational numbers, so, only rational number possible where 2 and 3, but 2 and 3 is not included in it. Therefore, here is no common between these two sets, okay? Therefore, A intersection B is phi set. This phi means zero set or null set or void set. It means there is no common element between these two sets. And what about the union? Union will be simply see rational number between 2 and 3 is coming therefore it will be union of so many sets Q C union set of natural numbers union those rational numbers belongs to Q and 2 less than Q less than 3 this will be our final answer this have so many problems can be found in NCRT. Try to solve them. Or after completing the entire portion, I shall obviously solve those problems. There, be, there is no problem in those. And take care. Study hard. Try to solve all problems of NCRT and RD Sharma. If there is any doubt, link is my WhatsApp number and my email ID is given in description. Contact me. I shall try to solve those problems here and if I can't solve them here in video I shall send the solutions and if anyone is interested for practice materials for board examination and entrance examinations then they can contact me personally I can provide them okay so study on do your best all the best and please like share my videos, share among all your friends and foes, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.